my channel. So today I'm sharing with you a grocery haul. I need to run to Walmart. I'm going to show you all um, kind of the haul whenever I get back. And then our meal plan for the week. Of course, it changes every week, but kind of a general idea. And then I'm going to share with you a Chex Mix recipe. This one is my all-time favorite. I've kind of made it up as I've gone on, taken bits and pieces from different recipes. And it is so good and it's so simple. I love making Chex Mix around the holidays just because it's easy to gift. You can bag it up and tie it with a cute little bow. It makes a ton. Uh, it's a good gift for your neighbor, for your teacher, just whatever. So I thought I would go ahead and share that with y'all. Um, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below so that you never miss a video. But let's go ahead and let's get into grocery shopping. So I just got home from Walmart and it was jam packed in there. I was going to try and film, but it just was not working out people were just like a buggy to buggy in there so I'm gonna show you all my haul really fast um, and it's kind of a big one today I needed to stock up on a few things um, and then just get ready to start like baking and cooking for Thanksgiving and all the holiday fun so I'm gonna flip you all around and show you so here haul. I've got two things of corn this is just some beef taquitos I like to keep something like this in our freezer for quick nights that we need an easy meal two gallons of milk Noah goes through milk like crazy and I use it a lot to cook and bake with. Um, some Rotel, some Alfredo sauce, cream of chicken, green beans, just some potato chips to go with sandwiches this week. Some hash browns for a really yummy recipe I'm going to be showing y'all. Two things of chicken tenders, some ground beef, then some pretzels. Some Chex. I'm about to show y'all a super yummy Chex Mix recipe. Um, some heavy whipping cream, some sour cream, mac and cheese for Noah for lunches, um, some egg noodles, butter, rotini, um, some Ritz, chicken broth, from some vanilla wafers. I thought Noah might like these to snack on. Um, some muffins for any of us to grab and go in the mornings some butternut squash for a recipe, two different types of cheeses, some Brussels sprouts, some blueberries, some cayenne, some more eggs. Y'all know we like to keep these on hand um, just for Noah for lunches or just whenever we need them. Um, out of ketchup, some M&Ms, some popcorn chicken just to keep in the freezer. These are so good to throw in the air fryer some dried cranberries, and then some frozen waffles. So none of my grocery hauls are ever healthy, but um, that is kind of everything. So, that um, our meal plan for the week um, on Monday, I think we're going to do chicken noodle casserole, Alfredo dump and go. Um, this is new, but it looked so good. Some spaghetti on Wednesday, just because Wednesdays we need quick and easy so we can get out the door for church. Um, some pork chops and some crock pot potatoes and then probably just leftovers and we may not have it in this order um i just like to plan out what we're gonna have at least in the week and then sunday we always eat with my in-laws saturday is just kind of up in the air we may not be home we may go to someone's house to watch the game just never know so um i always try to do at least three or four meals for the week and it always works out great Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make this Chex Mix recipe. I promise y'all, y'all are going to love it and be making it all season long. So I'm going to flip you around and show you the ingredients and then we'll get started. So making. I am just using some Honey Nut Chex Mix, mini pretzels, corn Chex, and then some crispy M&Ms. I like to keep it really simple. And then to go over that, I'm going to melt a stick of butter, probably about a fourth a cup of brown sugar, and then a couple of tablespoons of honey. I'll let that all melt together on the stove, and then we're gonna mix it all together. And I will say, add your M&Ms in the very last because you don't want them to melt because um, this will be kind of hot. So probably after all this cools, then go in and add your M&Ms.
so this turned out so good and y'all will just have to trust me and take my word on this i promise you it is so so good not healthy but yummy and i also think it'd be really yummy to add some pecans in here like toast them in the oven and then add them in here with that glaze that would be so good but i don't have any pecans so if you do this one at home maybe add some nuts or some pecans but this is really simple really easy thank you all for watching today's video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you enjoy these grocery hauls and meal plans i know i'm always looking for inspiration so i hope that it gave you inspiration for the week i try to get these up on a friday because a lot of people i know do their grocery shopping on a saturday or a sunday so i think um i'm gonna try and get those up every friday if that's something that y'all like so be sure to let me know down in the comments if that's something you would be interested in but thank y'all and i will see y'all in my next video. Bye.